So the only lady on the shortlist, the last to go this afternoon, Janet Hunter with Everest and Lisna Marrow. A little bit of a worry out in Zurich. The horse uh, had a little bit of a fever, but uh, came back here to win the championship at Peterborough last week. Janet to determine to show the selectors this afternoon. Oh, steady. Get him back. Uh, all there. Well done, Janet. Just the last. And that's a lovely round. That has put her chances right up. The selectors can't fail to announce that, I think, Steve. Certainly, you know, you're absolutely right. And one or two people said she might not have enough experience and uh, grit at this stage in her career to go on to the Olympics. But she certainly didn't do anything wrong there, did she? And isn't he a smashing horse? He is an out and out show jumper, that horse. And he's got so much ability as well. be fast enough and as he proved in the first round it makes these big fences look so easy a great chance here for Janet Hunter yes the interesting thing is that uh, comparing the times of John Brown and Frank Sluthak he went outside and came to that single big fence in the middle John Brown went inside the Cornishman and there was still very little in it so it could pay Janet to just keep motoring Luckier than that. That's just the sort of cloud you could do with at the first fence and get away with it because it stands you in good stead the rest of the round. Now, which way is she going to go? Oh, no, in between them. Frank is here, 26. Oh, she'll have to go. She's very much in touch. Not a lot in it. 55, 9, 6. Is she going to be there? Go on, Janet! Can't do him. Uh, 58, 4, 6. Three seconds outside. But a great round there by Janet Hunter. She goes up into second place, and that surely confirms what the selectors will hope to have found. A tremendous round there by Janet Hunter. Certainly was. He was, uh, he was brilliant in the first round. He was brilliant again there. He had that almighty clout at the first fence, which only served to sharpen him up a little bit more because he was just airborne after that. The Dubai Olympic Cup. Now goes to Frankie Sluthak with Walter Keddick, £18,000 of Richard. Janet Hunter, £9,000 of Richard with Everest Lisner Marrow in second place. And well done, John Brown, third on GNA Sligo Supreme. <laughs>